welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and another fascinating looking Sudoku today. Now, before we get to that, I want to remind you about the apps and uh, our merchandise. And you can buy those in the links under the video. The apps are all um, 100 puzzle editions of various types of Sudoku. And one of them is Thermo Sudoku, like today's puzzle. Uh, so they are all very relevant and they're all very good puzzles and we've had nothing but good reviews from them. So do consider buying those. Now, if you're interested in a little bit of extra content that we put out, do check out our Patreon channel. You can subscribe for two or three dollars a month or more if you're generous. And uh, we are very grateful. It does help keep the content coming and there are rewards for Patreons every month, especially there's a prize reward of some sort and uh, there are others that come during the month too. So loads going on as always and uh, there's also Sven Sudoku Pad, a catalogue of our puzzles, the Discord server. The links under the video have almost everything um, and if you went to the community tab under the video you could scroll down to our suggestions for how to submit puzzles to us. And that's appropriate today because this comes in from Derek Rocco, a yet another new setter for the channel, um, another debut puzzle. We've had quite a few this week, and this is another. The rules are very simple, but let's not forget the knight's move. So uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along thermometers increase from the bulb, so that must be more than that. And a three-cell bulb, that must be less than that, must be less than that. Two cells separated by a chess knight's move cannot contain identical digits. And with no given digits and just those few thermometers, many of them surrounding the central box, apparently we can solve this for a unique solution. So thank you very much to Derek for sending it in. Do give it a try on the link, the first link under the video. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Well, and nothing appeals to me more than pencil marking a nice long thermo. That one is eight cells long. Take that from nine, there is one degree of freedom, so that means two possible digits in each cell. And those are the possible digits for each cell of that thermo. Now, what does that tell us? It's, it, it looks like it might be on the fist and a fell ring, but I don't see how that's going to be relevant in this puzzle. So I don't think that's the thing. Now, there is also Potato Head's theorem, though, which applies to Knight's Move puzzles. Now, I don't think that's relevant. That says that this central cell is... Well, what it says is that at least eight digits must appear on this ring, and any digit that doesn't appear on that ring must be in the central cell. Um, and we could go through the motions of proving that, but I don't think it matters here at all because we're already getting eight different digits on, on that thermo and they're all on the ring. Ah, yes, these all look into the center. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the weirdest extra region I've ever seen. Okay, so those cells, those cells are one region of the digits one to nine. Yeah, it's simply expressed, actually. None of them can be the same as each other because they're all on a thermo. None of the first eight, these ones, can be the same as each other because they're all on a thermo that has to increase all the way along. But they all see this cell. You've got those two seeing it by uh, just ordinary Sudoku and those six all seeing it by Knight's move. And that means whatever this is does not appear on that thermo Ah, okay, and this, well, I mean, I, it's ludicrous to pencil mark a three-cell thermo from the start, but I'm going to do it now. Well, I'm going to do this cell. This could be anything from two to eight. It can't be one, because if one's on the thermo, it has to be there. It can't be nine, because if nine's on the thermo, it has to be there. But it can be anything else. Now, that's great, because that forms an eight-cell octuple. Um, which doesn't have a one in it, basically. The only place for one in this green extra region that we've created is there. There's also an octuple based on nines, which is the two cells. So that has to be a nine. That's weird. Okay. Oh, look, where can one go in the central box now? 
Well, it can still go in one of those two cells. It can't go here anymore. And all of these cells are on thermos. And if one is on a thermo, it has to be on the bulb. So it must be in one of those three cells. And we've now learned it can't be there. Ah, nine. Nine is much better. Nine has to be, again, on a tip of a thermo, if it's on a thermo. Since it's in the central box somewhere, it must be there, I think, because the other two tips are seen by that nine. So we get a nine in the central box. Actually, we get a nine in row six there. Can't be here because of the knight's move from there. Um, now, why, why does that entertain me? Oh, I'll tell you why. Look, if we can't put a one... There comes the drilling next door. Let's hope they don't do the blasting, roaring noise that's been going on all morning. Anyway... If this can't be a 1, that's quite significant, because that means this can't be a 2. So we are at least reducing the possibilities here by 1, but that gives us, what is this now, a sextuple of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and tells us that in the extra region, this is where 2 goes. Oh, right, and now, now oh, this is one of these recurring... Oh, I've seen this in thermo puzzles before, where every digit you prove gives you another, another proof. I don't know how this, how long this will go on, because the shapes of the thermos in this box aren't necessarily conducive. But this cell, this bulb, now can't be a two, and that means this cell can't be a three. And now three in the extra region is placed as well, just as nine was. Now I don't think we can carry that on, because that three doesn't stop there being a three here. So there can be a 3 here. This is, in fact, from something between 3 and 7. And this is something... Oh, yeah, this is something... This can't be 9, obviously. So now this can't be 8. And <laughs> that means we're down to a quad of 4, 5, 6, 7. And we can place 8 on the in that extra region. This is brilliant. I love this. Can we... Yes, that, that 8 sees this cell. We can go another cell further with that. So that can't be 8. This can't be 7. This now, I mean, we're down to three possibilities, but much more excitingly, we've now got a triple in the extra region, a four, five, six triple, and this must be seven. Now, sadly, that seven doesn't see this cell, so we may have to stop the fun and games there. Where does, in fact, let's, I haven't really considered where these go in the central box at all, but, ah, no, no. Eight has to go either there or there. It can't go before them on thermos because nothing can go after it apart from nine. Okay, what about two? That can't go anywhere here. Can't go in those cells, obviously. It can't go there because it's the third cell on a thermo. So it's in one of those two. Three and seven can't hit any of these cells. But I don't think that is very helpful at the moment. No. So we're going to have to do something else. I tell you what, I'm going to remove the green colour from those. The extra region's only useful when it's working. What I am going to do is try and... Ah, yeah, this is a 456 set. Oh, that's beautiful because of the extra region. But they all see this cell, so that can't be 5 or 6. That's a 7. It doesn't help us place anything else, but it's quite interesting. Um... Yeah, it doesn't get anything else. Now, are there other cells that these all see? I bet there are. Look, they all see that cell. So that can't be 4, 5, or 6 either. It also can't be 7, 8, or 9. Good grief. That's 3 or 2, and this is 2 or 1. Actually, I could have known that that was 2 or 1 from having confined 2 to those cells, but never mind about that. Now, hang on. What else? I mean, it's interesting. They all see other cells like those. Ah, oh, they all see this one, do they? Yes, that one by the knight's move. Yes, so this cell can't be 4, 5, or 6 either. Or 7, 9, 1, or 2. So that is 3 or 8. Ah, that's almost helpful. Can 8 be there? Then 8 would be here. So 8's definitely in one of these two cells. I don't know. I thought, thought we were cracking along there, but 
come to a bit of a halt. Oh, no, hang on, it hasn't. Look, I don't think this can be three. Because what would this be? If that was three, this is a two, one pair. But you still need a number smaller than three for here. That doesn't work. So this is eight. That's not eight now. Now eight can't be here. It's in one of those two cells. That's not as helpful as if we put eight somewhere else. Eight is also in those three. Ah, this can't be nine or eight. I'm going to bother to pencil mark that now. Because actually... Extensive pencil marking has been reasonably useful here. Um, actually, that can't be three. So, four possibilities there, four there, five here. What's going on now? There has to be a seven in one of these cells. Hmm. That four, five, six triple has been immensely useful, but I suspect it's shot its bolt now. I don't think it's going to do anything else for us. Um, actually, wonder if it's going to be worth colouring them differently. Let's have a green, a purple, and a an orange cell. And these are the different four, five, and six. Mm. No, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, no, it, it is interesting. Where does green go in this box? I'm really still focusing on box five because I think it's got the most exciting stuff going on in it. Um, where does green go? It doesn't go here. It can't be here because it's not the same as orange. And it can't be here because of the pencil marking. So green is in one of these two cells. And then one of these three. And purple? I don't know. Okay, we need to find something else. That... That's not been all that useful. Um, I may have may have been mistaken to bother trying to colour these, but I don't know. I don't really know what else to do. This is three, four, five, or six. This is can be one. It can't be two. Green's down there. Purple might be down there too. Or it could be here. Can that be green and purple? Probably. Oh, hang on though. Where are green and purple in this central box? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. This is very deliberate. Right. Where are, where are green, purple and orange? Four, five and six in this central box. They're all confined to those cells in that L-shaped tetromino. Now, the exciting thing about that is they all see this cell here. That one by the knight's move, and these three by just verticality. Um, and that means this can't be three, four, five, or six. No, it means it can't be four, five, or six. It could be three. It can't be four, five, or six. It can't be one, or eight, or seven. And it can't be nine because of its position on the thermo. So in theory, it's two or three, but I don't think it can be two because what would you put there? It's got to be three. That is magnificent. And that's a two. And that three, ooh, it takes three out of those cells. Doesn't quite, yes, it does. It takes three out of that on the knight's move, of course. Oh, yeah, so it places three here. Now we've got a four, five, six triple in the central box. So that's one, that's two. Now the colouring's worth something. That is green, and that can't be green. This is purple, because it's not green or orange. But this is a thermo, and that can't be six anymore. No, that's wrong. That's the wrong way around. It can't be four anymore. Oh, well. Oh, but purple can't be four from this thermo. So we've got a five-six pair and green is four. Good Lord, look at that. 
Oh, I accidentally ungreened it. Um, how odd that four is the green color in our scheme. Now, the, none of these can be a four, so they're getting reduced. That can't be a two, so it's five or six, leaving this to be six or seven. Now, can that be colored? Can it be orange or purple? It can't be orange. I suppose it could be purple. Ah, oh, this is five or six, and it's not orange. That's purple. Now this can't be purple or orange, so it can't be five or six. So it's seven. Can't be much. And that's not a one now. So two possibilities left there. Now, what have we got in this row? Three, five, and six. Oh, interesting. So this one can't be three in the box. This is now a three, five, six triple in the box, meaning that's two, it's the only place it can go. Four, as we know, is green in one of those. Oh, this can't be eight or four. That's a weird naked single now, that's one. And this is a four, eight pair, and eight is looking at that as well. That is fantastic. So that's green, the four. Five or six there. Oh, I don't know which of these is orange. One of these two is orange, by because I know one of those two is orange. So, and purple is there, obviously. So these are from five, six, and eight. But I don't know, I don't think I've got a thermo way of telling which is five and which is six. Right, now, eight, seven. Let's have a look up here, one, nine, eight, seven, two. This can't be three, so it is colored, and it's not purple, so it's green or orange, because four, five, and six are the colored digits. This can't be four by Knight's move. Mm. Not sure about those two. Let's just keep going. Now, this is a, this is a lovely puzzle. This has become a one, seven pair. Oh, seven is telling us which way round they go. Thank you, knights. Move. Um, this cell can't be one, two, three, four, seven, eight, or nine. So it's five, six. That makes it purple or orange, but the purple cell next to it means it's orange, and that means this isn't orange, and this one is. Therefore, we can make certain that that doesn't have an eight in, and this definitely, therefore, does. Now we're going, oh, do we know what this is? No, oh, not quite, but we know that can't be orange, but it could be green, and that can't be green, but it could be orange. What about this one? It's less than five or six, and it can't be four, three, or two. So it's one or five. If it's five, it's purple, and that might be needed for disambiguation. Don't know. If it's one, it's not colored. Right, let's just keep going. This is getting more and more interesting the further we get into it, in my opinion. Um, this sees almost all the digits. One, five, six, seven, and three, allowing for the pair. Two and nine. Okay, it's four or eight again. Um, maybe we can use this, five, six, seven, eight, quad here. Right, neither of those can be one because of that. Therefore, one of these two has to be one. It's not quite using it, is it? This can't be nine, four, or two. So that is one or three. Is it worth looking at all of these? And not so much. Oh, well, that can't be two or nine, so it's one, three, or four. This one sees seven, one, three, five, six, eight, two, four, or nine. This one sees five, six, seven, eight, one, nine. So, oh, and four on the knight's move. So that's two or three. So nine only has two possible places in the row. I mean, it's really interesting. The row has almost done a heck of a lot of work, but not quite finished it off. Uh, talking of not quite finished off, that thermo is going to need some other digit, but the thermo itself is not a lot of use. What about this cell? Two, three, four, one, nine. 
Hmm. It'd be lovely to find another random 5-6 possibility, wouldn't it? Um, oh, I was nearly going to confine purple there, but that can be purple. Okay, need to... I might as well fill in the possibilities here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 4 are not possible, but I think 2, 3, and 9 all are. I don't think I've got even a quad in this group. I might be missing something. It doesn't look like it. Right, and I've got two thermos still to use. Ah, now, this can't be 9, 8, or 7 on the end of the thermo here. So, it's... 6, 5, 4, or 2, but it can't be 2 because that can't be 1 at the smaller position. This also can't be 1, 5, or 6, or 3. So that's 2 or 4. This now, well, I don't know what it is, but I do know, being 4, 5, or 6, that it's coloured. And it can't be purple, so it's either orange or green. And that gives me the two orange and greens in this row, which is really freaky. So where's purple in this row? It's not there or there, it's not there, and it's not there. No, that's not so interesting. Um, that was surprised. Now, this can't be nine or eight either. I don't think it's gonna be as constrained as the other ones, but I'm still going to go crazy and pencil marker two cell thermo. Now, the, the bulb can't be one or two. One we can find to one of those two cells in the row, and two is there. So three, four, five, or six there, four, five, six, or seven there. Uh, we didn't confine three to these places, so it's not that helpful. Um, but still always worth checking what's going on with thermos when especially in these knight's move puzzles. They're so, it's so unpredictable what you can find sometimes. And we do need to find something else. Now, seven sees that cell, so that's not a seven. Um, nine. Nine can't be in any of those. Oh, eight. Eight can't be in any of those, or there, or there. So eight's confined to two cells up here. Um, eight in this box is, no, not, ah! Those two both can't be eight because of that. So eight's in one of those two, and that's sorted out the eight in box three that we were just looking at. That doesn't bounce back for those. It gives us an eight down here in column eight in one of those two. We know eight's also in one of those, and we get a bit stuck at that point. Now, what about this? Four, eight, or nine? We've got to place a two in one of these two. We know that. Oh, that's quite... Well, it's, it's a bit restrictive here, because that means two can't be here. Wherever it is there, it sees that cell. Two also can't be in those, so two is now in one of these two cells. Then it's going to be in one of these three, but it can't be in the top one because of that, or the bottom one because of that, so we get the two in column up, column seven. And then we need a two in one of these three cells, but that one rules out both of those, so it is a two on the bulb, which doesn't fix the bulb, but it does take two out of that possibility. We definitely need a two somewhere up here. But that's quite far away from any twos. The knight's move's not working anymore for those. Now we know there's a three here. Yes, that's good. That's good. We know there's a three there, so there isn't a three in one of those two. We also know that this three sees all of those. So three in box one is somewhere over this side. Again, out of reach of knight errantry. But that does place three in column two, right there. That can't be a three by the knight's move, so we get a three in one of these. Threes are now in this two by two area, which forms an X wing. They're either there or there, there and there, or there and there. But they're used up for columns eight and nine, and therefore none of these can have a three in. We need a three in one of those two places. I can't see which one it is going to be. Seems, I mean, it 
likely maybe to be that, but that's just guessing. Um, now, if that can't be a three, this can't be a four. Near, ooh, no, these aren't necessarily colored. We could actually have four and seven on that thermo to avoid them being green, orange, or purple. Oh, it's a bit fiddly now, but it's really interesting. I still think this puzzle has a lot going for it. Now, that all started when I was looking at eights here. That eight sees that cell, and that one sees all of those. So eight in this box, it's not so helpful. It's in one of those three. In fact, what is this? This can't be one, two, three, five, six, or nine. Mm, tempted to think it's not four because of this pair, but that would be rash. Yes, it is. That no, that is right. It's not four because one of those is green and is four, so that is not rash. Seven or eight there. I don't. I don't think it's going to help, but. It's interesting that that, that green-orange pair actually did something. Now, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Come on. I think we've made some great deductions here, but we have not finished this off at all. Um, two and three are a pair. Two and three, two and three. So nine now has to be in one of these two cells. Now, was I sure that couldn't be nine? Yes, by the knight's move. So... Nine is in one of those two, and one of these three, but they're a little out of reach. Now, that means nine somewhere here. Ah, those two see that cell, so that can't be nine. This is now a four-eight pair. This can't be four, and the four in those two cells must be here, and we know its color. It is green. That one is orange, having become five or six. So green up here must be there. That's the four. This is three. That three can come out of that cell. The four can come out of this bulb. Oh, and the bulb has become four, five, or six. So it's now colored. It's purple or orange. Um, where is orange here? It's in one of those two, isn't it? That means orange isn't in these cells. That doesn't mean anything. Right, purple can't be there or there. We've looked at that before. Getting green hasn't fixed anything. Oh, we can place green in this column. It's got to be here. That one is seen by knights moved by two things. So that is the digit four. That hasn't resolved nine. It does give me four over here. So we're going to finish off the greens in a moment. That can't be green because of the knights move. So it's down here. That's a four. The last four in the grid must be here. Now, let's colour that just for completeness. And that's given us an eight here and an eight here. That gives us eight here. That eight sees that cell, so we get eight at the top. Oh, this is coming now. So this is where nine goes. And this is now a seven in the column. Now, which one of those should we use first? Nine puts nine in one of those two cells, and the nine in row three has to be here. Uh, this can't be four, so it's one. So this whole row apart from the five, six pair is sorted out. Yeah, so these... Oh, now that two places three in this box. This can't be seven, so we know where seven goes. Thanks to the thermo. That makes this a seven and not coloured. So this is five or six, and that's two, and this is coloured. Uh, but do we know if it's orange or purple? Not immediately. However, we've got orange and purple in row one, so that is not orange. This is. That's five or six. Now the colouring is really helping, I think. Uh, we've got a one to place in this box, then a nine, then a two. They're all done. Still not finished up there. Never mind, never mind. There might be something I'm missing, but... You can keep shouting it. I'll come back and get it in a moment. This is three, five, or six down here. Now, we need a one in this column. That's there. This is five or six. It is colored. 
and it can't be purple so that's orange and now that's purple and that's orange we still haven't disambiguated oh where's orange in this box it's got to be there so that's not three and that is we still haven't disambiguated five and six that's kind of why i'm thinking this is gonna have to end up being purple in a moment maybe maybe you'll spot why before i do now this has become a three because it sees a five six pair I think all the threes are done. Yeah, it looks like it. How are we doing on eights? They're all done. Fours we know about. Twos, they're all done. Ones, they're not. But I can put the one in row eight and therefore the one in row two. And now we do get a five on the thermo bulb. That's purple. Right, that is going to tell us. Let's just do it. Make all the purples fives. Make all the oranges sixes in one fell swoop. And we can finish off this column with a nine. Five, seven, and nine. No, let's do these first. What have we got? Six and five. Oh, no, I don't know how to do them yet. Oh, yes, I do. I've got a six there. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So that is purple. That is orange. We've colored everything orange. We need two more purples. Oh, and I don't know where they go. Oh, it serves me right. Right, five, seven, and nine here. This one sees five. This one sees seven. This one doesn't. Five, seven, and nine here as well. That one is the helpful cell and sees five and seven on the knight's move. So that's nine. That's going to fix this as a seven. Now, this is five and seven. And yes, we have a seven in the row. So let's just get the shading the colouring finished first and now we can put in the last digit a nine here finishes the puzzle and it is correct that is a lovely puzzle Derek thank you for creating that I mean I don't know what it took to create that there's some re really interesting stuff to break in around around that extra region I'm glad I saw that quickly because it was incredibly helpful and Actually, I might thank Potato Head for that. I might not have spotted it without having heard of his theorem. So anyway, there we go. Thank you very much, Derek. Thank you for watching. Hope you had a go at the puzzle because that was a good one. And hope to see you again soon on the channel. Um, have done a plus word as well as a as well as well a um, wordle today. So that'll be up tomorrow morning. Bye for now.